Hello everyone, this is Rej and this is a new game devlog about the um, JavaScript game I'm building with Babylon JS. This time I want to show you my progress on the web app and on the uh, multiplayer feature. Uh, so the multiplayer is not playable yet, but uh, I've implemented the lobby and the miniature selection. So I'll show you that and I'll show you a little bit of the detail on how, I, um, how is it possible um, with the power of sockets.io. So, uh, this is now the website. Um, uh, I rebranded it Miniaturena, uh, so it's a more generic term than insist that didn't mean anything. Uh, so let's see, it's very simple. Uh, I haven't showed you the game in the um, web app how the interface looks like, so let's go have a look at that. And so if you click on demo, you see the interface here, the game loads on the uh, main screen, and then on the side, you see information about the player, how many, how many miniatures they have left, um, how many actions they have left. Uh, underneath, you can see uh, the list of miniatures with the stats. When you take actions into the game, that shows in the interface all around. Um, you have also the history here, showing you all the different actions. It's quite helpful for the um, dice rolls. Uh, so that's one thing, uh, but then I want to do this multiplayer. I want two people to play against each other. That's not implemented yet, but I took steps in that direction. Uh, what did I do? I built the um, the lobby. So uh, bear with me with the uh, layout and the graphics. It's, it's very simple. Uh, I want just to test it out. Um, it definitely looked better going forward. So I'm going to open two browser page so we can see what the experience would look like from two different computers. So if I create um, a table from one browser, uh, you can see it shows on the other browser. One as deleted, one as join. So from the other browser, I click join. And that redirects to the what I call the army builder, but basically where you select your miniatures. Um, and so uh, let's select two different teams. Once you when, when you select the team here, when you select the miniatures, um, so they would show on the side in this selected team list, and then you can't go more than than the max army value of ten. Um, this uh, when you create a table going forward, this this could change to another number. Um, I made it extra simple this time. Uh, just to try out the features. And so let's do the Raging Rebels. So you select the miniatures. And then once you click ready, there's this um, banner at the top saying that you're ready for battle and waiting for the other player. And then when they both uh, click uh, ready, you're sent to the next phase. So this is in construction, the uh, initiative role. So I'll be doing a sum up of every team and then just a roll button to see who starts first. Still ongoing, but I want to show you my progress on the uh, multiplayer feature. What's nice is when you click back to the home page, you have this banner here um, that shows you if you attend an, an ongoing game, and you can click on the banner to go back to the game. So that's that. That could be nice if the the other player is is just taking time to to choose, and you want to browse the website while while you're waiting. Um, of course, there'll be a timer and you won't have unlimited time to choose, but that's for another uh, update. Um, I want to show you a little bit more on how uh, socket.io work, um, just so you understand, and maybe that could be helpful for you. Socket.io is a real-time engine. It could be used for chat, it could be used here on their website, they're using it to set up uh, tweets in real time, it could, um, it could track uh, database in real time and here I'm using it for the multiplayer uh, aspect of the game uh, creating a new table joining a table uh, and then going forward it'd be for uh, actions in the game I would uh, register the actions and send them to the other player um, so that's the code for the server it's very simple to implement I'm requiring the dependency then from that I'm creating a variable IO that listens to the server. So when a new when a new browser is connecting, it access this this function, this part of the of the server, 
and then set up all the all the communications between uh, pages. So um, there's first a message says it's connected, uh, and then if he ever disconnects, there'd be a message that is disconnected. This would show on the uh, it's on the server side, so the clients will not users will not have access to that. So what happens on the client side? So let's see the lobby. So if you create a table that will launch this function, create table, and then um, it does socket.emit. That's a specific method to access socket. It does socket.emit, create table. So that's a chosen name. You can choose whatever you like. So create table. It refers to, in the server, the same function, create table. And then this is the callback function. It says uh, emit to everyone. IO is everyone. Emit to everyone the function create table. So if we go back to the lobby, we can see uh, the create table, uh, create table function I've set up. And so when this is called, it sets a new table in the state. And so that's for everyone. So you can see from one socket, it created a table and then it, uh, it sent the information to everyone. So join table is the same. You would have this handle table join a function. Uh, that does a socket of emit join table and then it's referenced in the server under the same name join table What it does it joins you to a specific table and here I'm using the table ID which is a unique um, identifier for this table If you are joining the table you're the second player and so I'm setting up the second player name and then if there's, you can see if the length is two, so if there's two players in the room, I'm sending the new URL to, to redirect to. So I'm using this isockets.intable. So here, all the players in this table uh, would receive the new URL to redirect to. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. My plan next, uh, create the initiative role uh, page and then um, linking back to the Babylon game and so that's it I wanted to show you the progress I'll finish on the demo table so you can see a little bit of the game in the next update I'll have the full multiplayer experience to show you going through the table creation miniature selection uh, initiative role and then straight to the game uh, so that's it for now uh, go try it out uh, you can try the demo already and play around with the lobby even though it's not fully functional and let me know what you think see you guys thanks